Hello YouTube. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas to everybody. Before I forget to mention it, right? So um, I just wanted to thank everybody who supported me, who liked my comments or my videos and uh, even to those people who didn't like it and uh, Christmas is coming up and I wanted to share the joy of uh, Christmas and holidays so uh, I do have two of my bootloaders finished and uh, I want, just wanted to make a video again because I had some questions about it and meanwhile I wanted to show you that you can uh, do get dead chips so anyhow uh, this is my uh, 328 mega burner and I will just demonstrate how you burn the bootloader you put it in here you press slightly on it press the reset button done this is as fast as it goes so do it one more time uh, these are actually already have burnt bootloaders but if you're unsure you can just do it again I will cover the speaker because it's loud as you see done and I just received some from Mauser from where I buy it obviously and this little guy is dead failed and I tried it many times it is dead so out of 10 I got a dead one anyhow as you see it is possible that even from Mauser you can get dead chips I would advise against buying it from China they are cheaper but you have a higher rate of failure so I also wanted to show that these bootloader burners work before I send them out tomorrow and as you see these are standalone. It is running out of a uh, 5 volt battery bank. Anyhow, uh, that was that. And uh, I also finished two of my clocks. I need to print the case for it. Haven't done that yet. And uh, this is my little guy watching me that I don't mess up here yeah you know you <laughs> uh, anyhow these are the displays I'm gonna use for my upcoming products one of them is going to be this here this will be my how did I call it color can gauge mini it is practically the smaller version of my can gauge as you have seen before and I will have to order the carbon fiber front for it so this will be the mini version of it and it will have 10 neopixels it will have a, a EEPROM e EEPROM and it will have it will work with these which is the same color displays and I did uh, create the footprint I did share it in on one of my videos and it also has two alignment holes and you can have this is a solder by the way that's what I had in one millimeter so these are one millimeter holes 10 millimeters apart and once you go through that or plug it in uh, you can solder it without it being shifted because if it shifts a little bit to the left or right then you will end up um, extra extra grading 
exaggerating now it will be like this or this so with the alignment holes I can be sure that it's going to be always at the same spot and it's going to be straight so this is my next product and um, yes that was it actually so it's not a too long of a video anyhow um, as I said I want to thank everybody who supported me who left me comments who did buy me several cups of coffee and uh, thank you for all that and as I said I wish everybody happy holidays Merry Christmas and a happy happy new year I hope everybody uh, will get their wishes and um, well that was it I guess that's probably gonna be my last video this year uh, unless something else happens but uh, this is it guys thanks for watching and take care of yourselves of your family and be nice to each other take care everybody